Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be finding where this open ground is coming from. We've got a few receptacles down here that are showing an open ground. So we've got to try and find that open ground and figure out where it's at and try and fix the issue. I found this issue a few months ago and I've never got around to fixing it until now. So we're going to try and find where it's at. So this receptacle here is showing it. That receptacle is on the backside of that wall. And now in this room here, this is showing an open ground. So I found this issue and I was replacing receptacles and I left this note for me, circuit 17 bedside receptacles and it turns out to be the one in this room too, is the one with an open ground. So circuit 17. We're gonna turn off this circuit for two reasons. The first reason is for safety. It makes it a lot safer to do our work. Second reason is for lighting and smoke detectors, whatever else might be on that circuit. If the circuit's off, it's easier to tell what else is on that circuit and where the ground, the open ground could be coming from. So circuit 17 here, 17 is dining plus lighting so here i accidentally read out 16 to you guys but 17 is basement lighting is what the circuit schedule says all right that did the lights in here so now we know it could be coming from anywhere in these lights in here we'll see what else is affected this receptacle is still on i believe these guys will be too that also did our hallway light and our light in this room here. So all of these receptacles should be dead, which they are. It did not do the closet though. So this one, and this guy up here are still on, they're on a different circuit. First, I'm going to open up this receptacle right here. This is my first time looking into it at all. I mean, I took a quick look when I replaced this receptacle, but I don't remember. That was a while ago. That was like the start of COVID, which is like forever ago at this point. So this is a plastic box, so this can't be that old. All the original stuff in this house is metal box. And this box is grounded and this receptacle is grounded. That neutral and that hot there looks like crap. That's better. Now I'm not even gonna check that next receptacle because I remember when I changed it out I took a look around in there and I didn't see anything, so I know it's somewhere else in the circuit. My next step is going to be looking in this light fixture here. No, oh, I didn't know this was an LED fixture. Problem definitely isn't there. This box is grounded and there's only one wire coming in here. That 
next light fixture, see if, it, see if it's up in that one. All right, up in this fixture here, nothing particularly strange going on. As far as grounding, everything looks okay. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. However, I am curious if we still have the issue here. So I'm gonna turn on the breaker and measure voltage in between hot and ground. 118, so we've got a ground here. So I'm gonna check these switches and if I don't find anything there, I'll look in the switch in that room. And if I don't find anything there, I'll look in the actual panel. Hot right there. Ooh, 46 volts and 118 volts. This looks good right here. This ground is solid. Right here though, 46 volts. That's not right. Should be getting 120 to ground. That almost seems like a connections that's there but quite loose. If we were to actually put a significant load on this, this would probably heat up that connection, cause some arcing possibly, and melt the marette and burn some stuff up. So, it'd be good to find where this loose connection is at. If I do continuity ground to ground. Very faint got about 30k ohm resistance so this guy right here we've got a bad connection somewhere I'm gonna check that switch behind us now I would think that would be our path going back not going back this way but we could be getting power here and it could be you never know what's happened so I'm gonna look at this switch right here Everything's looking pretty normal in here. But again, we have that 45. We've got that 45 volts going back on the ground there. So our issue is somewhere before this. I'm gonna go see what's affected upstairs by this. I couldn't find anything upstairs to be affected. It seems to be pretty local over here around this area. Interesting thing here, which I'm sure is to do with the that lower voltage on the ground. When you hit the GFCI test, it lights up that red. I'm assuming it's putting some voltage to ground to try and trip a GFCI because it's not returning on the neutral. So as you can see, that, that lights up pretty bright. If we take it to this receptacle over here that has the open ground, that's what 46 volts does versus 120. All right, it's time to shut down that 100 amp old panel that used to be the main panels and now a sub panel. I'm not gonna shut down the whole service because then that will take the air conditioning off and we can't have that. So I'm gonna shut down my computer and then turn off the panel. 
because for some reason I just don't want to go into that old federal plane your pan alive. So all of our grounds are back there and I don't see anything missing. Not sure why we got a black on there. That should be colored differently for the neutral, but whatever it is what it is. Right here, I'm just taking a screwdriver and tightening down, not really tightening down, but just sort of checking all my ground connections, making sure everything is tight, that there's no loose grounds that could be causing the 46 volts. And basically, long story short, I didn't find a single issue here in the panel. It's a little bit messy, but that doesn't affect the functionality of the system. Here I am sort of taking apart this mess of wires to take a closer look down in behind to see what's going on here but as I said nothing was found I've searched through this guy and I'm really not seeing anything that stands out as an issue with the grounding we've got a couple breakers with two screws under it found a couple breakers with two wires under the same screw I, is what I meant to say not two screws under the same breaker I don't think these particular breakers are rated for that, so that's not very good, but nothing you can really do about it when the panel's full, the panel's full, so. Um, this in here is indeed just taking the neutral up to there for two neutral devices or two things that need a neutral. But yeah, I can't really see any issue with bonding in here. Nothing super strange going up here in our service entrance section either. Covering everything's back on. So for the time being here, since I can't find where our uh, missing or loose connection is, I'm gonna connect, this is the bad ground here, and I'm gonna connect it to our good ground to, which I would like to still find it, but for now this will take care of the issue just temporarily until I can find where it's at. It's not pretty, but it works. Let's find out if this actually fixed the issue. Yes, it did. So that solved that issue. Like I said, though, I still want to find exactly where it's coming from. Not sure if that's ever going to happen, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. And if I get some time in the future, I'll look into it. So if you enjoyed this video, found it useful or entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And go follow my Instagram account at Pickle700 for some, you'll see extra stuff on there and stuff you might not see on YouTube. Just some extra stuff and bonus things. So if you're interested, go follow that. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.